All right, so welcome to the uh, mileage and timeline spreadsheet generator for business, taxes, IRS, and fun. You can track and store your miles and locations for free. It turns out that Google um, allows you to just track where you've been using the timeline tracker. So you don't have to pay hundreds or tens or hundreds of dollars to have uh, yourself or your fleet tracked by any of these other agencies. You can just use any Android device and they have some real cheap ones out there um, that has a GPS in it. And you can just use uh, a Google to track your whereabouts. It's obviously the most handy on your phone. A lot of these apps that um, you can get, they're supposedly free, but then charge you later um, to track your mileage for the IRS. A lot of those apps are very annoying and they don't start up properly, they hog up resources on your phone. So um, I'm going to show you here quickly how to just set this up for free and Google is pretty good about telling exactly where you've been. And then you can just use this um, app, this extension on your Chrome browser in order to generate a spreadsheet. And then once you have a spreadsheet that shows your timeline, you can edit it if you want to, you can generate any reports that you want to. Um, and you can create templates to generate reports that you want to. So this does keeping track of your whereabouts and your mileage for tax purposes doesn't need to be a uh, difficult thing to do. And your records are kept free for you in Google so you can really prove where you've been as well. So uh, with no further ado, let's just um, get right to it. Uh, in order to uh, get this going, you've got to create a Google account for yourself and log into it, which I've already done here. And then you just go to your timelines by going in here and go to Google Maps Timeline. And this timeline will show where you've been. Now, I just created this Google account and so, and I haven't had the timeline turned on. So you got to go in here and you've got to turn it on. So there's no timeline here for today or any other day. But, um, Here's how you enable the location history. You just log in to your Maps timeline and your, your, your Google account, and you can create as many Google accounts as you need to for all the different devices that you may have or all your different employees. And um, then go in and enable the location history. And then you simply um, you go ahead and log into uh, Google, your Google, Google account on your Android devices or uh, I think you can also do it on iPhone. And then just by virtue, and then you, you set up your timeline on your phone to make sure that it's uh, enabled. And you can set your phone to low power savings um, and it'll track you and it's really good at um, how, how good it actually works. So let's take a look at uh, once you have the timeline turned on your history. I'm going to now take you over to an account where um, I've actually been running the, the history for quite a while. It's on my own personal account for a landscaping business that I have. I just keep my phone with me and I'm just recording where I'm at all the time. So I'll take you to that account right here. Okay, so here is an example of uh, a Google Timeline account that uh, I have been using for the past uh, while now that it actually has some history in here, some places that I've been. Now here's the problem with Google Timeline. You can only pick one day at a time, and you can't just easily copy and paste this into any kind of usable format. Um, you know, perhaps it's made that way intentionally or what have you, but here's what your Google Timeline each day looks like. And uh, it may not get the exact address correct of where you're at, but it is tracking your mileage properly and it's close enough to where you're at. And if you need to change it to the exact addresses, you can do that. But you don't do it in here. Basically, um, to use the Chrome extension, this is the free version here, this is with the red. And here is the location history uh, for this. So let's say that I want to generate uh, a CBS file or a spreadsheet file that has everywhere that I've been for the past, uh, I don't know, just the beginning of this month. Well, I just go ahead and I, I click on the Google extension here and I'm going to pick a date, a start date from the 1st of October until the 26th and I can have it displayed in meters, kilometers, miles and I'm just going to call this uh, test 1 
you can name the file and then download it. So it's going to generate for me a CVS file that has all of the last uh, few days in it. So here's the file down here. Now I'm going to have a look at that file in my downloads here. Uh, here's the file right here, test CVS, I just created it. So I'm going to open that up and show you what I've got. I'm going to actually open it up in uh, Google using Google's uh, spreadsheet editor. So I'm going to put it, upload it into my Google uh, Drive, which is also in my Google account. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and open this up. So I've opened it up inside of Google and I'm just viewing it now. Now I'm going to open it with Google Sheets up here. So it's sort of like a spreadsheet. So now I can edit it if I want to. And you can see here, okay, here's where I've been. It has the addresses. It has the distances in between. If I want to add up all of the uh, miles, I can just go ahead and uh, you know, I can add up this whole column or I could just do it using uh, an ordinary spreadsheet uh, methods and I can keep a running total of where I've been. If I need to edit some of these addresses, I can do that. I can create and generate any reports that I want to in here. So I would normally just enter in uh, all I do is keep track of my mileage every day or so. When I get into the car in the morning, I write down that mileage. And um, I'm just showing you here that you can keep a running total over here in this column. So pick the wrong column here. Let's say I want to just keep a running total of how many miles I've driven. Um, I can uh, actually say I can just. Yes, I can just. This one plus this one, boom. and I'm going to control C and copy, paste, 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 paste. And you can see this just gives me a running total of the miles that I've uh, driven here. And I can just select a whole swath of this if I want to, and paste again, and you can just fill up the whole sheet like that. And in other words, you can create your own. Templates. If I want to delete some of these places and it's not the right addresses, I can do that too. Uh, if I want to, I can add in here my starting mileage. Now, uh, let's say 100,000, 110,000 miles on my odometer. Um, I can then just simply say, okay, well, that's what it was on this morning. I want to keep track of that. And I can say, here it was that morning, uh, plus. So this is a really good way to reconstruct your driving records if you lost them as well, is that you can just find any of the uh, odometer readings that you do have and you can put them in here and create your own Excel spreadsheet to show what the ending and the beginning odometer readings should roughly be. And again, you can, you can delete out entire rows if you want to. It's just a matter of learning how to use a spreadsheet, that's all. But this can serve as your driving uh, mileage tracker for your IRS reports. Or, uh, for whatever else that you may want to use. Number four. And you can imagine how handy it is. You can generate whatever reports you want. Um, you can just have use a different Google account for all the different devices and the people that you're working with. And um, you know, if you ever want to generate maps, obviously you can do that in here. Now, the free version of the software. Um, timeline and history, it only allows you to put in one date at a time and it does not allow you to go back past the last 10 days. So I'll give you an error. If you want to do that, you have to buy the full version. But the good news is that um, you only have to buy this version once. You don't have to keep redoing it and, uh, and that's it. Once you have the full blown version, you can go back as far as you want. Um, very different months, you know, and create my spreadsheet for um, the longer period I want to. I can have it in meters, kilometers, and miles. So that's how you use the mileage 
um, track your mileage for free using the mileage and timeline spreadsheets or location history for any other uh, information that you need just go to http xtblue.com location dash history thank you